Hey guys, I'm Pete the Duck, and I'm here with a Forge tutorial for you guys. Let's say you want to know how to score a point when you shoot a fusion coil. Well, I can tell you, but you might be wondering why would you want to know in the first place. Well, let's say uh, you want to make like an obstacle course or a challenge map where the goal is to not just reach the end, but to shoot a couple fusion coils along the way, kind of like a secondary objective. You can use this for that. Or maybe you want to make a multiplayer training map where you practice your no-scope skills with a sniper rifle and you want to use fusion coils as targets, but you also want to be able to keep track of your score. Well, you can use this kind of mechanism for that too. So I'm going to show you two different variations of the same mechanism. They're both built using Halo Ball, and I'm just going to start a brand new map on Forge World because they're really easy to build. We're going to walk through doing it from scratch. So let's get started. All right, here we are in Forge World. Let's go ahead and get rid of these initial spawns because we're not going to need them. And let's fly out somewhere in the open and start building. Uh, right about here seems good. So I'm going to put down a Coliseum wall just so we have something solid to stand on. There we go. And we need our fusion coil. That's what we're going to be shooting. So let's get a fusion coil on this map. Now there's a couple things I need to do to it. First I need to assign it to red team. You can pick whatever team you want, but it needs to be what team your players are going to be playing on. I'm going to give it phased physics and a spawn time of one second. Then I'm going to go under advanced settings and assign it to the Halo Ball Goal object label. And since it's a Halo Ball Goal, I need to give it a shape. So I'm going to make it a tall cylinder about that wide. Doesn't need to be exact. Now the second thing that I need is a hill marker and the hill marker does not need a shape so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that shape and I'm gonna look back at the fusion coil so I can make sure I know where the halo ball goal is the only thing that really matters is I need the hill marker to be inside the halo ball goal but I'm gonna put it way up in the sky because I don't want people to see it when they're playing the game so I'm gonna put it way up here and I'm gonna make sure it's still inside the halo ball goal and it is I'm going to make it a ball spawn location. That's the only thing I need to do to the hill marker. And I'm going to go back down here and I'm going to put down a spawn point. The mechanism is done at this point. I just needed those two objects and they're all set up. So let's save this and we're going to jump into a custom game and see how it performs. Okay so here we are in our custom game and you can see we have our fusion coil and if we look up, there's nothing up there in the sky at all. We're just looking at our fusion coil. And if I shoot it, I score a point. Now it respawns, which means I can shoot it again. And each time I shoot it, I'm going to score another point. What's happening is the way Halo Ball works, if there is a ball spawn location inside of a Halo Ball goal, it will not spawn a golf ball. But when I shoot the fusion coil, the Halo Ball goal disappears, meaning the golf ball is spawning. But when the fusion coil reappears, the uh, halo ball goal reappears also, and it collects that golf ball, scoring one point for the player. This is cool for maybe like a multiplayer training map where you want to be able to shoot the same fusion coil over and over again. But let's say you want uh, an obstacle course map where you can only score one point on that fusion coil. We're going to modify this mechanism to work for that. So let's jump back into Forge. Okay, so here we are back in Forge mode. And to modify this mechanism, what I need to do is I need to set the spawn time on the fusion coil to never. That's the only thing I need to do to the fusion coil. Next thing I need to do is fly up to our hill marker. I'm going to add a couple objects around it. First thing I need to add is a uh, landmine, but I need to put it in a really specific location. I need to put it directly underneath the hill marker. So the hill marker's coordinates are 68, 177.5. So I need to remember that. So let me get a landmine, set it to phase physics, and set it to 68, 177.5. Okay, so it is directly underneath the hill marker. And I've put a little distance between the two objects. It doesn't need to be exact, but you just need a little distance. And this landmine is going to never respawn. So put the spawn time as never. And that's it. We're done with the landmine. The next thing that we need is a kill boundary. And we're going to put this so it is underneath the landmine. So we have kill boundary, landmine, 
hill marker. And we need one more thing, which is another hill marker. And we're going to put this one, uh, let's line it up here, just a little bit above the existing hill marker. We're going to max out the radius on this one. And we are going to assign it to red team. And we're going to make it a halo ball goal. Those are all the modifications we need to make this mechanism work. So let's save this map and check it out in a custom game. Actions. Okay, so here we are in our custom game. And you can see, once again, we still have our fusion coil here. But if we look up, we're going to see there's a landmine up there. Now, you can leave it like that. The only thing you need to keep in mind is you don't want players to shoot that landmine. If they do, it's going to break the mechanism. So you could either put a shield door there or maybe design your map so this area is enclosed and they can't see it. Or just, you know, maybe they won't even notice it's up there. I don't know. You really have to zoom in to see it in the first place because we built this map so low. So you can put it really up high and just have people ignore it. But just wanted to mention that you don't want people to shoot the landmine. What you do want people to do is shoot the fusion coil. And if I do that, I'm going to score a point. And because we don't want the player to be able to score more than one point per landmine or per fusion coil, the fusion coil does not respawn. But let's say that you want the player to be able to shoot more than just one fusion coil. Let me show you uh, how you would want to duplicate this particular mechanism. So let's jump back into Forge one more time. Okay, so we're back in Forge again, and all we're going to do is duplicate the mechanism so there's more than one fusion coil. So I'm going to add another fusion coil, assign it red team, phase physics, spawn time of never, halo ball goal, object label, a shape that's really tall and, you know, about that wide, and this one I'm going to set over here. Once again, we're going to want a hill marker. And we don't need a shape on the hill marker. And we're going to want to put this at the same height as the other hill marker, which is right there. So this has a height of 71.6. This has a height of 71.5. Close enough. And we want to make sure we set the second hill marker as a ball spawn location. Uh, let's see, what are the coordinates of this? 70.7 and 174.4. So we need another landmine. Phased physics. Spawn time of never. And we need to put it at, uh, let's see, 174.4. Oh, I forgot. What was it? 70.7. 70.7. So this landmine is directly underneath this hill marker. This landmine is directly underneath this hill marker. Last thing I need to do is I just need to expand this uh, kill boundary so it is underneath both of the hill markers. So I'm just going to go ahead and max that one out as well. And that's it. I've duplicated the mechanism. So let's check it out in a custom game. Game over. All right, and we're back in our custom game. Shazam. And this time we have two fusion coils instead of just one. And if I shoot this one, I'm going to score one point and only one point. If I shoot this one, I'm going to score another point. And now I have two points. And neither of those fusion coils are going to respawn. So you can duplicate that mechanism as many times as you want up to the maximum number of 12 because I'm using one fusion coil and one landmine per mechanism and you're limited to 24. Uh, if you use the first mechanism where the landmines respawn, you can make up to 24 of those because you only have to use one fusion coil. And that's it. It's really simple. It's really nice and clean and out of the way. Everything's up there in the sky. If you look up, you're going to see now that the landmine is gone, the golf balls just appear and are immediately reset by the kill boundary. It's just way up there in the sky. You're not even really going to notice it unless you happen to look up. Don't look up. Don't think about it. Just ignore it. Um, so, yeah, you can use this for whatever you want. I like things that are nice and clean and simple like this, so I hope you guys do too. Um, thanks for watching.